husband was with me as I was looking at it and he said, no one uses those anymore. To which I said, well, it's cheap enough. I'm just going to grab it and look it up later. I'm glad I did. Sold it for $149 and paid $2 for it. Hey, Bolowitties, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about big money bolos, items that sold in August on eBay and other platforms for big bucks. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and invited everyone to share a bolo item, an item to be on the lookout for. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is my Facebook group, if you're not in it. There is a link tree down below. You can click on that and there will be a link to my Facebook group along with a bunch of other links of things that I use for my business. So check it out. Come join the Facebook group. It's free and you can learn about some bolo items. So let's get started here with the first item. For some reason, August was a very good month for me. I wanted to share a few of my best sales. I found these Ray-Ban shooter sunglasses at a thrift store for $1.99. At the time, I didn't even know they were Ray-Bans as the mark was very hard to find. They sat in my money pile for a while while I attempted to research them. They actually had prescription lens in them too. A Ray-Ban Facebook group helped me to identify them. And of course, I advertised them nothing noting the prescription lens too. Apparently, they are very collectible, especially these vintage frames. Very happy with the sale. Now, I always check the eyeglasses racks at the thrift store. Okay, so here's what I will tell you about this. You are not allowed to sell prescription items on eBay. So you need to sell these as frames only. I recommend popping the, the lenses out and selling them as the frames or taking them to a uh, like an eye doctor and having them pop the lenses out so you don't break anything, but you cannot sell prescription items. So do not put prescription anywhere in your listing and definitely put frames only so people understand that they are only getting the frames. Does that make sense? This one comes from, um, it's AA, a antiques and collectibles and i just did a video right before this featuring his ebay store so that is coming soon he is a big money bolo finder and i am going to showcase some of his bolos so i'm not sure if that'll be before this video or after this video but you will see this item in that video as well paid ten dollars at a garage sale last week took a best offer of 550 it's a 1939 new york World's Fair Deco Saturn Lamp by Howes. And this is what it looks like. We sourced this beauty from Goodwill for $5.79. My kids despaired, or no, I'm sorry, not despaired. My kids dispersed. I'm reading what they wrote, so <laughs> I apologize. My kids dispersed upon that store like the like little bolo soldiers on a mission. I had just finished getting my toddler in the buggy when my oldest daughter handed me this and said, I think I seen this name in the Bolo group on Facebook. My heart about stopped when I seen it. It was definitely a start the car moment. We listed it for $114.99 and had a few watchers. After spending sending out offers, it sold for $104.99 plus shipping. And yes, I did give my daughter part of the profit. It is a McKenzie Child's Flower Market squashed pot lapis pre-owned and this is what it looks like that is so funny so her daughter is helping her source and she remembered it i wonder how old her daughter is uh found by chance bolo buddies member this is her ebay store and a bolo buddies member means they have joined memberships on my youtube channel at level two or higher to get a shout out in the video, which means I pop up their eBay store or YouTube channel and link them down below. So be sure to check out that description for uh, Bolo Finders, their YouTube channels and their eBay stores. She said, I bought these at an estate sale in a baggie together for 10. Hawkeye doesn't go for much, but Hot Lip does. Hot Lips does. Hmm. Sold them together on eBay for a best offer of 45 and the buyer paid shipping. So it's their mash the movie MASH or TV show MASH, M-A-S-H. So it looks like they're two separate figures, Hawkeye and Hot Lips. And Hot Lips is the bolo, I guess. I don't know who's who. I don't know. But anyway, 
there you have it. Uh, sold for 45. She also found this. I bought these at another estate sale. It was this company's first sale and things were priced too high. And he had a lot left over. I got there 30 minutes before closing. And since there was still a lot left, he was making deals. I got a lot of vintage action figures for a good deal. I think I spent about $1.50 in this set. I sold it on Mercari for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. In case you can't see the title, it's a vintage 1974-76 Fisher-Price Adventure People Motorcycle Dirt Bike Cycle Sidecar Lot. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, toys and plush do really well on Mercari. If you're not on Mercari, there's a link down below. If you use that link to join, you're going to get $10 to shop and an additional $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So that's $30 total when you use my referral link down below to join Mercari. And then they also give me some money to shop. So I really appreciate it when you guys use that link. And this is her third bolo. And she said, I have to add this. Bought these at the Goodwill for about $6. I had this set of plush cross-listed on eBay. I listed for $49.95. I got an offer for $30. Womp, womp. And countered at $44.95. The counter expired. And good thing, because a few days later, I sold it on Etsy for my listing price of $59.95. Buyer paid shipping and was all in for $75.25. 1980, where the wild things are, 14-inch stuffed animal plush monster Mashi and Bernard. And this is what they look like. Hey there. I bought a fully furnished Lun. Lunby, Lunby, I'm not sure how to say it, dollhouse from an online auction for 34. It was definitely worth the one hour drive to pick it up because I just sold the dollhouse alone for 300 on Facebook Marketplace in less than 12 hours. The dollhouse sat in my money pile for a few months because I was afraid to ship it. I decided to bite the bullet and list it on eBay, cross posting it on all platforms. Luckily, a local buyer bought it and I didn't have to ship it after all. Thanks for all you do, Courtney. You're welcome, and thank you for sharing your bolo. This one comes from Piece of Scrap, and she focuses mostly on clothing and shoes and accessories and stuff like that. So check her out. And she said, paid $3.75 at the Goodwill, sold for $124.04 on Depop. Um, I'm new to Depop, so this was a pleasant surprise. Awesome. Yeah, so if you use List Perfectly, you can cross post to like, I don't know, 10 or 12 different platforms. I start on eBay and I cross post to Facebook. No, not Facebook. I'm sorry. I cross post from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. I used to do Facebook and Etsy and a little bit of Grailed, but it just got to be too much um, with YouTube and whatnot and all the other things I'm doing. Three, eBay, Mercari and Poshmark is all I'm doing right now. But List Perfectly is fantastic for getting your um, items on other platforms fast. Uh, if you would like to learn more about List Perfectly, there is a demo video down below. I know for me, I like to see it, how it works. I want somebody to walk me through it and I want to know exactly what I'm getting. So in that video, I do that for you guys. If you watch it and you feel like it's something that would help you with your business, which I'm pretty sure it will, um, definitely use my referral link or code, it's Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. But watch the video first. Make sure it's something you're going to use, but I, I am sure you're going to like it. I don't know how you couldn't. I mean, it gets those items on other platforms fast. I've been using it since 2019, and I still absolutely love it. So check that out. Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member Fortune88. And she said, hi, I got this at a thrift store for $7.99. Sold on eBay for $89.99. My eBay store is Fortune 88. I do not have a YouTube channel. Um, it is a Grillbot Automatic Grill Cleaning Robot. And this is what it looks like. Yes, you do not have to have a YouTube channel to be a Bolo Buddies member. I can feature your eBay store. So either one works great. Um, I do need for you to reach out to me and get me a link to your eBay store because I do not have that. So if you can uh, message me on Facebook, that would be fantastic if you're watching. All right. Noni's Treasure House. She is a Bolo Buddies member also. Not on YouTube. This is her eBay store. She'll be linked down below. She said, got this Johnsonville sausage grill at the Goodwill for $9.99 and sold 
Oh, she said paid up for, but heard it was a bolo. After watching your another YouTuber list one of these and sold it for $179. I quickly listed and quickly sold it for $159.99 plus shipping. And this is what it looks like. So yes, watching YouTube videos to learn about bolos, throw them on while you work. Listen while you work. That sounds like the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> is that the Seven Dwarfs? Listen while you... No, I'm not going to sing. But you know what I'm talking about. I don't even think it's the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> you guys let me know what that one is. Anyway, I don't even think that's the right phrase. Listen while you work. It's whistle while you work. <laughs> Oh my. All right. Found these at the Goodwill bin. So probably $2. Vintage Groiler Disney ornaments. Lotted them together and sold on an offer of $60. Groiler. G-R-O-L-I-E-R. -E I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but they are Christmas ornaments and this is what they look like. And they are Disney. This is also from Noni's Treasure House. Got this Carter's Waffle Weave Puppy pastel colored small plush at the Goodwill bins. So under $2. And of course, because of watching you, Courtney, and your great tips, I knew it was something to get. Sold for $49.99. And I believe the buyer paid shipping. Yeah, anything that's waffle, terry cloth, parachute material, look those up. I have lots of plush videos on my channel. So check those out. Got it free from my son. Great sale. It is a meteoroid... Prime 2, it's some sort of GameCube game from 2004 with manual. And this is what it looks like. Sold for $45. I found this Franklin planner at the bins. It looks brand new unused. My husband was with me as I was looking at it. And he said, no one uses those anymore. To which I said, well, it's cheap enough. I'm just going to grab it and look it up later. I'm glad I did. Sold it for $149 and paid $2 for it. It's a classic Franklin Covey Anna leather snap binder, starlight blue. That's awesome. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Picker Money Flipper, and this is her YouTube channel and eBay store. Paid $2 at a yard sale. This magazine sold for $75.61 plus shipping. This magazine was in fair condition, but it was in really, but if it was in really good condition, it could go for $200. It's a Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars Nintendo Player's Guide. So it's a Nintendo guide. Oh, picker money flipper. Paid $3 at a yard sale for this t-shirt. I accepted an offer of 50 plus shipping. It is a rare Elvis Bob's Big Boy Hamburgers white t-shirt, extra large. Ed extra large <laughs> t-shirt made in the 90s. Oh, you guys, I have had a rough evening last night and a rough morning. So I'm just trying to get through these videos. I apologize with all the blop, blop, blop. <laughs> all right. I bought four of these vintage typewriting papers at an estate sale, paid $2 a piece with an average price of $65 a piece. Plus shipping is that that's the sold price. Vintage Eaton's... Um, Corrosible typewriter paper, one ream, $67.96 on this one. And I think some of the other ones sold for more. I think they were in another video and maybe she sold some for less, but definitely a great pickup. Bought about 10 months ago at a yard sale for $10. Sold on Mercari for $229 free shipping. Shipping cost $12. It is a vintage Jim Shore Mickey Mouse figurine Disney Peekaboo Halloween Glows. Jim Shore is great. Vintage Halloween is great. Lots of things going there. Great pickup. Sourcing at a local Goodwill and my daughter found this Henley. She saw the MSRP and grabbed it. I paid $549. For it and I took a best offer of 180 less than 24 hours later. Alp and Rock is the brand. A L P and Rock. Hmm. Alp and Rock, a pre ski epic skier, Henley embroidered ski veil patches, red. Is it clothing? I'm still not sure what it is, but that's what it looks like. Purchased at a local thrift for $2. Sold for asking price of 56 within one week. I was just walking past the baby section and spied these. Then went to a corner and searched sold listings. Original Johnson's baby lotion, large, pink, fresh, new, sealed, discontinued. This is what it looks like. 
I visited a very small, basically tiny local thrift store. It's located two miles from my house and saw this adorable plate that catches my eye. Didn't know anything about branding or anything about the plate at all. Just grabbed it for $3.99. And when I got home, I started doing the research and moved on. Listed the item at $125. Sold in a week through promotional listings without any offers for a full price of $125. It's a rare Fitz and Floyd exotic jungle platter centerpiece. And this is what it looks like. I found this Scooby-Doo mug at my favorite St. Vincent store here in Washington State. I couldn't find any comps when I researched, so I figured it was pretty good find. I listed it and sold it within a few days for $36. So it is a Scooby-Doo mug. Thank you for allowing our posts and giving us great content. Here we have a Snow Baby's Bell Disney character we picked up at a yard sale for $1. Sold it about three weeks for $109. Thank you again. And this is what it looks like. It's a Department 56 Snow, Bi Snow Baby's Walt Disney, a rose for Belle. So it looks like, um, is it Beauty and the Beast, Belle? Yeah, I think so. Purchased these at a yard sale last weekend for $5. Sold for full asking price within two hours. Took me about 20 minutes to clean them up. Thorough Good Men's 1957 Series 6-inch waterproof steel toe boots. $94.99 is what they sold for. <clears throat> Bought it in a state sale for $80. Whoa paid 80. Listed for $499.97. Sent out offers 20% off after I had a few people watching it and it sold for $399.98 after about a week. It's a Pirates of the Caribbean Jack Sparrow figure by Hot Toys and this is what it looks like. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be a whole bunch of these videos in this series. The September post is up. Here's the September post. Definitely go share a bolo and I will feature it in a video just like this. Um, link down below my link tree. You can join the Facebook group through that. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to everybody that shared a bolo. Thank you to all of you that watched. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. <laughs> I was just looking for my phone. I'm like, where'd I put my phone? <laughs> I'm recording with it. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> let's get started. Uh, flipper money shipper. No. <laughs> oh.